I was never really satisfied with my other videos. I just felt like something was missing. I just self-censored the story down to something that I knew could be done given the hardware available. Now that I have this technology available to me, I'd like to go back, clean up some older videos, and maybe even add some CGI enhancements. In the Portland 2015 video, I shot Isaac with a zapper. That made me look like a cold-hearted killer. And in this video, I always thought that it would make sense to have a giant alien creature walk in front of the camera. Dude, what are you doing? I'm playing Space Jam on PS1. And for this scene, why don't we take some inspiration from my personal role model, Michael Bay. Well, in all seriousness, some videos that we've made could have been a lot better. One example is the Top 8 SNES games. In my opinion, this video was just poorly executed. We edited it in like a day, and I had like no enthusiasm or charisma. I honestly just looked like I did not want to be there. My acting was somehow even worse back then, if that's possible. Fun. Great. Gra good graphics. Good level design. Good. It's possible. So I thought about remaking it scene by scene, adding a better script, and making it a whole lot better than the original video. So, so here's a go. Salutations, you miserable people. I have decided that I do not have enough money, so I will make another top 8 list video. Like I said, new watch mojo. Today we're going to look at the top 8 games for the Sega Genesis console. This is a great 16-bit console with a huge variety of two-player games. If only I had someone to play it with. Come over. Okay. Screw the Genesis, we're doing Super Nintendo. What's a Super Nintendo? That. Cool. Top 8 Super Nintendo games. Let's go, boy! Let's go! Number 8 goes to Super Mario World. It was one of the original launch titles for the Super Nintendo. It was extremely successful, sold like 20 bajillion copies. It's just a super fun game. You, you, it's, it's Mario, you, you jump around, do a, do a little hop, do a little jump man. Do a little hop, little jump over the Goombas. You know, you know what I'm saying? You play the original games, it has like all of those good things about it, but just... Better. The jumping is better. The fire, everything's it's good, but better. Bruh, this game introduced Yoshi. You know how famous he is. Got you got you got people wearing the Yoshi shirt. That's how famous it is. This is like one of the most famous video games of all time. It's just legendary. It's super fun. L listen, listen here, punk. Listen here. This is a good game, but there's just better games for the Super Nintendo. If you don't like our list, make your own list, you man child. EVO The Search of Eden is a very interesting game. It's an RPG simulation game in which you start from a small little fish and you eventually turn into a human caveman. It kind of reminds me of the 2008 game Spore, but that game is a lot cheaper than this one. And if you know anything about this game, you're probably asking me, oh, Isaac, how did you play this $300 game? Well, uh, let me tell you something. There's this magical thing called the emulator. I personally run my emulator on my beast of a gaming PC. I have a Pentium 2, 333 MHz, 480 megabytes. Number 6 is Earthbound. Why is it number 1? Because it's number 6. But why? It's my list, what's wrong with you? Ow, my butt hurts. So you probably thought this would be higher on the list. And it should be. But doesn't make any- that doesn't make any sense! If it should be higher, then why didn't I put it higher on the list? Who wrote the script? Did you write the script? I didn't. I didn't write the script. Scra scrap that. I don't d undo it. Redo that. I don't like that. Anyway, it's just a fun, silly game with a lot of charm. It's just a classic, great game. The unfortunate thing about this game is that it's like really super expensive. It can run you about like 400 bucks. I can't even afford that. All I can get is stuff thrown at me because I didn't put ah. Because I didn't put it higher on the list. Super Mario Ho RPG, why don't you play with me? Come and play with us, Daddy. Forever and ever and ever. 
Okay, so you probably won't be playing with me because this isn't a two-player game. That, and I don't have any friends. Oh, and the fact that there's two girls trying to desperately kill me. Run, run for your lives, run. I need help, help. Yeah, this is another RPG in this video, but this game is a lot cheaper than the other previous two. So, so that's the thing. Even though this game can be about $60 used, it's a great RPG developed by Square and licensed by Nintendo. We actually made a review about this game that you can totally check out. I mean, if you wanna. I don't control your life, but you can do it. Shameless sponsor! Terranigma, our number four spot, is a great action RPG for the Super Nintendo. And actually, I should say Super Famicom because it was never released in America. Only in Japan, fortunately. But hey, even though it was never released in America, you can still download the ROM online. If you're into that sort of thing. You filthy criminals! I should lock you up in a dark bugger that's located 60 miles under the Earth's crust with a bunch of criminals you'll rot for the rest of eternity and if I'll take the dirty man slave, mold it into the kind of soap base you can clean the blood off of the walls that will splatter because the dogs will bite in the Anyway, Terranigma is a great game. Great action, great story, great gameplay, great everything. Unfortunately, it's only great enough to be number four. Castlevania 4, or Super Castlevania 4. Wait a second, where's Castlevania 1 through 3? Make it Konami, your fans want it! Back to what I was saying. Super Castlevania 4 is my personal favorite 2D Castlevania game. It expands on the controls, the graphics, and just overall awesomeness. Chrono Trigger. 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 Number one, I'm really biased. Things you gotta know. Number two, I can't really say that much that every other person on the internet hasn't already said. Chrono Trigger. It's a masterpiece game. Couldn't think of a number one, guys. I'm sorry. We're rebels. It's what we do. We rebel. Just kidding. Our number one is Shaq Fu. Well, that video was definitely a lot better than the original, I think. I don't know. But didn't we just have a great time along the way? No. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. For our actual number one, we chose Donkey Kong Country. But first, Rare, we miss you. Come back, please. Every day, it's getting closer. Rolling faster than roller coaster. A love like yours will surely come my way. Hey, hey.